Smalls.com. And today what I want to do is talk to you about working with Smalls. So no doubt after you install Blender, you realize that you uh, are going to work with small objects. For instance, like I do, where I'm working with things that are, for instance, this stone here, which is supposed to be a little diamond, and it is six and a half millimeters in diameter. So you install Blender and you try to zoom in on this object and what happens? The screen goes blank because Blender is not designed out of the box to work with small things unless you change the settings. That's what we're going to talk about today. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get started. With Blender and small objects whether it's for designing really small things or if you're, in, if you're into 3D printing and you want to print smaller things, I want to show you how to set up Blender so you can do your modeling correctly. There's a couple little things that you should know and here are the settings that we need to change in Blender to work with objects in millimeters, not centimeters, not meters, not yards, not tens of thousands of feet, but we're going to microscopically get down to the smallest of minute things. First, what you have to do is come over to your, your tabs here on the right and we have to find our workspace and our scale settings. And if I can find those quickly under the, if we look at the scene properties and we click on that, what we want to see here is units. And you can see I have units set to metric. Under unit scale, I have it set to 0.001. And everything else can be left the same, but if you want to change these, if you're not set up this way, length in millimeters, rotation in degrees, mass in kilograms, you can change that to whatever you want. But uh, for the most part, that's how you want to have your settings. Once you've changed those, I suggest coming up to the file menu and going down to the defaults tab or the defaults option on the file menu and then save your startup file. It'll store these settings here on the right into a default file so every time you open up Blender you're working with millimeter and metric sizes. Now that's not going to solve the problem when you zoom in the screen goes blank and how do we get around that? Well you have to come over to the view tab if this is not here press the I believe it's the uh, N key yes it is press the N key if you don't have your little tabs here in your view window come down to the view tab and now we're going to set our focal point or our focal length. I have mine set to 50 and I would suggest just to follow these. The clip start at 0 0.1 and the end point at, uh, I have 20,000 millimeters. You know, whatever works for you is good, but uh, 20,000 works for me. I would suggest that. I'd also make sure under the view tab that you have under view lock, lock camera to view, make sure that's checked. And those settings, once you have those all done and saved, should allow you to be able to work with very small design objects in Blender. Again, once you change these settings here and hit the lock camera view, come over to the file menu down to defaults and then save your startup file. That's important so that every time you reopen Blender, you're working with all of these exact same settings. And that is how I've managed to be able to get Blender to work with my small settings and small designs. I hope that helps you. And if it doesn't, um, there's one more thing I do want to show you that sometimes you're going to zoom into an object and maybe your screen kind of locks up about here and you can't zoom any farther. Press the B key. The B key allows you to zoom in and you just draw a box around what you want and it should allow you to zoom in a little farther. With that said, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. So right now on the screen, you should see some suggested videos as well as that, that watch dial. If you're not a subscriber, hit that little watch dial and become a subscriber. And if you want to get notifications every time I upload a new video, make sure you hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care and happy designing.